Hi guys, with so many devices and platforms connected to Home Assistant, my dashboard is quickly becoming cluttered and overwhelming. This is where Home Assistant tools to make my dashboard smaller and more efficient come in. There are several types of cards to have a lot of information just on a limited part of the key UI with the aim to save me a lot of space. My first goal was to have a super efficient dashboard, especially using it on my smartphone. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to give you some tips to configure and use the custom swipe card getting the most. Let's do this! In order to make available the custom swipe card, you need to get it from Axe first. So, go to Axe, Front End, Explore and Download Repositories, Look for the swipe card, select it and download. Now you need to reload the browser. Now that the swipe custom card is available, let's see some examples. The first use case is related to the power consumption and the operative states of my household appliances. Let me add the code. Edit dashboard. Add card. Go to manual. Here we are. This is the code to have the first swipe card. This is composed of two different cards. The first one is related to the power consumptions in real time, and this is the code. The second one is related to the power sockets and the, the operative states. The code is super simple in the sense that within the tag custom swipe card you just need to add the YAML code related to the card you want to, to display. In this case the first card to be displayed is an entity filter card In the second case, the, the entity card to be displayed is the glance one. So, entity filter card and glass card. Beautiful. The second use case of the swipe card is related to the security and surveillance. Let me add the code. Edit dashboard. Add card. 
go to manual. Voilà. As per the, the previous example, this swipe card is composed of two different cards. The first one is a glance card. And the second one is a glance card as well. The third use case of this swipe card has helped me to display temperature entities. Let me add the code again. Edit dashboard. Add card. Go to manual as usual. In this case, we have a swipe card composed of two different tile cards. The first one related to the living room temperature and the second one related to the water tank temperature. As you can see, the swipe card is fantastic to have a lot of information displayed on a little part of the key UI. Everything becomes easily available, just swiping to the left or right. And the final result is amazing using Home Assistant on the smartphone as well. Let's see how it works on the smartphone. It's really fantastic. I do hope you have enjoyed this new tutorial. Do not hesitate to leave a comment in case of doubts and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all the new upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.